Uh, we're yeah, we were in uh, quite a few significant firefights. Um, yeah, we were in a lot of firefights last deployment. Where is it? Where is it at? Hey, any element, enemy element, this is eight. What direction is that coming from? We got in firefights almost daily, sometimes three to four times a day. Uh, we got, you know, hit by rockets quite a bit. Uh, March 6th, we got, uh, that's probably the worst one. We got completely surrounded. You know, all, all, all sides were completely surrounded. And I just remember being, uh, I was a 240 gunner. I was up on the wall with a with the 240 machine gun. It's a it's, it's a belt fed machine gun, and uh, <clears throat> I remember. I mean, there's bullets coming from everywhere. There was there was tracers flying over your head from behind us, from the side. You know, there's bullets hitting the walls. There's RPGs flying over us. Uh, we would return fire in one area, and it would suppress it, but it would it would be coming from all other directions at the same time. It went on for about five or six hours like that. Our first sergeant told us when we left, we'd, we'd been in uh, uh, troops in contact as a tick, and we'd been in 236 ticks. I remember uh, uh, a few of the ANA, they were good guys, I and mean, we became pretty close friends with them, and we used to, we used to get sheep off the local market, and they would, they, would, they would kill them and cook them for us, and we'd have little barbecues like that and stuff. But uh, when we first got with them, soldiering skill-wise, uh, they used to duck down behind the walls and just empty their M16s as fast as they could and reload. And we learned... We learned afterwards that they weren't really shooting to shoot the enemy. They wanted the brass because they could. They would take that brass and trade it for eggs and cigarettes and whatever they wanted to get. There you go. Oh, we're in some sand. <laughs> this time around, our, our mission is different. Like I said, we're not out. We're not out hunting the people down. We're not. We're not hunting the Taliban down. We're we're helping the the Afghans do a better job at finding the Taliban and finding the enemy and get rid of them. We're providing them the means to, to you know, stabilize their own country and to keep their own country stabilized so we don't have to be here to do it for them. Right here, okay? Right to your left. So what you want to do is you want to cut your, cut your wheels. All right, there you go. Cut your wheels to the right. Sharp, sharp turn right. In 2010, the quality of, of soldier is not nearly what it is now, what I see now. Not, not even close. It's, it's way below the level it is now. They would just sit around and drink chai and never train, never do anything, don't clean their weapons, and then when something happens, react to it. And this time around, they're proactive. They're actually going out there and looking for looking for the enemy. They're they're secure in their areas. They're taking care of their own. You know, they're they're finding they're finding solutions to their own solutions to their own problems, which is the biggest thing, in my opinion, that that this deployment's doing for the Afghan people.